Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. And we're back here live on the Mackey Motors Post Game Show on 1380 AM, 95.1 FM, KCIM. Now joined by head coach of the Glitter Ralston girls basketball team, Cole Corson. A happy, I think, Cole Corson here for today. Uh, coach, heck of an effort from your girls. Obviously, uh, early season jitter still kind of playing a part. A lot of fouls in this contest. Uh, but you got to be happy because a win's a win. It is. And that's kind of what we talked about a little bit. Uh, was, was that? There's a moment we won the game and we won the know and I how I was going to look. I'm going to look at the stats here. My stats are nice for 33 turnovers and we were 16 for 37 for the line. So you put those two combinations together um, and you still win, you can take it, I guess. Yeah, you know, and, and I think, you know, looking at just kind of the stats you guys had, uh, two girls that kind of stand out, obviously, Tyler Jensen and Paige Bucky. They played off each other kind of all night long, passing down court pretty well. Obviously, the layups could have used some work there, but, um, you know, just a great dynamic duo you have with those two girls. Yeah, and I told the girls at halftime, I said, I, I've been there. Um, I had a game where I, I missed four big way layups all by myself and all that stuff, so I, I understand what they're going through. You get that kind of mental aspect that you're just hoping that it goes in instead of just playing basketball. Uh, but, yeah, they did a great job tonight being ultra-aggressive. Uh, they showed that he fights for it against Audubon. They did a really good job playing it. They played over here. Uh, just kind of, you know, those two especially got to make the free ones because they're going to be ones that they get near the basket and get fouled. Uh, we get a stoppage in play. And we got to, you know, make those freebies and we got to shoot those at a little bit higher clip. Uh, especially those two, you know, 75 80% is more than capable for them. Uh, and then and that'll improve over the season, too. But, uh, yeah, like you said, those two really fed off each other and each other. Obviously, one of the big things here later on in that game was fouls. Kind of played a, a really good part for you guys later on. What was kind of the, the strategy? Because, of course, Arriva started pressing a lot more half court in that second half. So what was the, kind of the, uh, the turnaround? What was some of the things you were trying to counter that? Well, we tried to do our aggressive press break where we tried to turn it into points, um, which has been one thing in the past that I haven't been super fond of. Uh, but we did have some skill sets that vote for it. Um, it really hurt us though when Vanessa Taylor fouled out because she's one that we want to be the aggressor uh, just because of how fast she is. Uh, and so it kind of threw us out uh, in that aspect. And so then we, we switched back to our normal press break. And, uh, it wasn't like they were putting a lot of ball pressure on us. Uh, we just need to understand where our cutters are going to be and not to get so you know, happy feet. Things will open up and you get 10 seconds to pass that court and you have to understand that. I know it's still pretty much early on in the season for your girls, mm -hmm. but uh, where do you think the most improvement needs to come from? Um, you know, defensively we're going to be okay. Um, I think we understand what we want to do defensively. We've got a lot of tip passes tonight. Our biggest improvement is going to be understanding how to attack. Uh, and that comes with time, that comes with playing experience. And you can't replicate that in practice as much as you'd like to try. But once the full speed, the lights come on, and you do all those things, it's a whole new ballgame. And for us, it's five, six girls who have not been out there at a high minute ratio, whatever you want to call it, to do that. So as the minutes come for a lot of those girls, uh, we'll see a lot of improvement. And, you know, a lot of girls tonight, I thought, stepped up in various roles. And I thought, you know, our biggest thing is tonight we wanted uh, rebounding. Uh, to be an emphasis, and we had, uh, according to our charts anyways, we had about a 67% clip where we had the defensive rebounds, and um, it's kind of where we want to be. We want to be at 75, but um, I thought Elizabeth Lloyd, you know, racked in a ton. Uh, we were aggressive on the offensive glass, so, yeah, <clears throat> yeah we just got to improve with game time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, congratulations on the win. Of course, we got the boys' game, so we'll kind of enjoy that, but I uh, appreciate you coming up and talking with us. Perfect. Thank you, Tyler.